Yo, yo, yo. It's the Arthur in the building. Talking to you guys today. I'm talking to you guys today about why no fat is the easiest way to manifest attraction in any any person not just woman. Why the the subtle act of abstaining from fapping is pretty much the cheat code to let's say a more abundant life and why you'll very and why you'll be very very happy with yourself if you can be able to achieve this this practice of abstaining from no fat from abstaining from fat <clears throat> a, lo a lot of guys like to complain about everything P people like to complain 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 the root the prop the root problem is people just aren't inspired enough people just aren't willing to do enough to get what they really want so they settle for anything they can get people are not inspired enough they're not inspired enough they don't they haven't they have they're too shallow they're not deep enough they don't go through the root of the problem they see the problem on surface level they never see the problem from the root cause and this is pretty much the difference like in order to really attract become a very dynamic person who attracts let's say women in general uh, or who attracts who is a very just say attractive person in general like I said you're gonna have to be passionate about something you're gonna have to be consciously aware of some of, of some sort of concept and you're gonna have to be able to explain it to somebody off of off of your tongue off of off of your intuition instead of going back to your notes a lot of people like to go through their notes to try to explain a concept or something and the the proof problem is they're just they're not they're the, people are not uh doing activities that they're they're passionate enough because any sane person who isn't passionate about something is going to be it's going to quit the moment there's some sort of resistance. It, it's going to quit the moment there's, it seems like a problem has ar arose. But the, the, the man who, who, who sees the problem but finds a solution because he's on a purposeful mission to, to create something that he can say that he did it, that he created, that he's the one who persevered through everything, is going to have the most satisfaction in life. He's gonna be the most satisfaction in life, and the person who can do this has has his way with anybody and anything because he can explain to somebody how he did something, regardless of regardless of his situation. And this is what we like to call a game changer, a world changer. And this is probably the most attractive trait in any type of man because a man who is passionate about the thing he does. Is, go, is willing to go to war for what he believes in. And this is pretty much the difference. This is how you can attract people to you. This is how you can attract people to you. This is how you can attract women to you. This is how you can attract any good search situation to you. And the way to be passionate or the way to have a lot of passion in your life is to go on NoFap. NoFap really helps you become a passionate person. A lot of people like a lot of people are not passionate about things. They're, they, they, this is what people tell me. They say, uh, they, they, go, they, they go to work. They're miserable. So on the weekends, they have to. On the weekends, they have to try to take. Um, they have to try to go all out to try to feel some sort of void. And like I said, this is this is this is solving a problem on the surface level. This is not the deep root of the problem. And in order to be, let's say, an attractive man overall, because the, the, the latest, the pickup artist perspective is not being a complete person and using tactics and things to try to court a woman. And this really will not last that long. It, it, there's no way it can actually last that long because you're, 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 not create, you're not solving the deep root of the problem. You have to start, we have to start solving deep roots roots of the problem not just making some sort of cover-up 
and the deep root of the problem with a lot of people is just that they're not really happy with what they're doing they're not really happy with what they do for a living they're not really happy about it and they think that there's only a couple solutions and the thing is and this is the pretty much important part if you have this problem the best thing for you to do is like i said one retain your nut you're just going to be a lot more confident two is to meditate your your mind is going to be clearer three is to work out is to exercise after you work out you're gonna you're gonna have an endorphin rush and and very very insightful thoughts may start coming to you and four double down on what you're good at double down on what you're good at and start brainstorming and critically thinking about how you can branch off to what you're naturally good at so you can let's say you can monetize it or you can how you can start a consulting company or something like that this is pretty much it if you can explain something to somebody from uh, from just by just because you're very passionate about the, the type of the thing that you're talking about then women will find this attractive because but if you're always talking about well, my nine to five how i hate that getting drunk on the weekends you're the 95 percent you're gonna be part of the 95 percent you're not interesting you have to start becoming a, you have to be a little bit you have to start becoming a little bit more interesting interested about your life this is the only way to attract naturally people women and people in general just by who you are instead of trying to fabricate something and try to make uh, pick up lines and things like that because you're not really a full stack man you have to be all in being all in about your life is pretty much how you you get the best results if you're half in if you're 50 percent in if you don't have full belief in yourself you're not going to get the best result so i mean there has to be some back to the drawing board there has to be some sort of you have to shed yourself you have to you have to you have to sit down put put a column of what works and what isn't working and start the things that don't work and start doubling down on the things that work double down on what works you're all knowing you're an abundant being you're not meant to be struggling in this life the reason why people struggle the difference between someone who's struggling and someone who's prospering is the type of thoughts they like to entertain when they're when they're on autopilot when they're let's say driving or when they're working or when they're eating and what type of material they like to put inside their brain this is pretty much the difference subtle actions subtle disciplines on a consistent basis is the, the resulting is what results in a prosperous life a mediocre life or a very below average life it's what you're feeding your what you're feeding yourself are you feeding yourself are you taking advice from people who who haven't done it are you taking advice from people who are who haven't done what you want to do and just because let's say they might be your superior or they might be a little bit older than you you're not taking you're not putting up a fight and you're just taking their word for it just because they're older than you this is a big problem you have to start listening to people who are in life where you want to be a man who stands for everything will fall for a man who stands for nothing will fall for everything. He will fall. He, anytime someone gives him, anytime a, a woman gives him the slightest bit of attraction, he balls out all in for her just because she gave him the slightest bit of attraction. A man who stands for nothing will fall for anything. You have to be very, you have to start, we have to start being very intentional and very, and very specific about everything that we do. If there's no return on investment, then stop. Then we don't do it. And I, like I said, the key to like let's say being an attractive person overall, so you can attract women and men alike, is to be passionate about what you're doing. It's to explain concepts to people from your from from things that you from your brain that you've stored up. It is not to be reading a textbook that you don't like, and just doing it because it's what's expected of you or it's society's expectation of you this is pretty much the 95 percent i mean you can be top in the top five percent or you can be in the bottom 95 percent i mean it's your life 
It's your life. Like I said, having attraction from people in general, from women and men and alike, is being pat is being attracted to your life. The more you, the more you're in love with your life, the more of an attractive person you are. And when you go on no fat, and then you know, when you go on no fat. And you're and you're and you're carrying out your purposeful mission. You're gonna be the most attractive person in the room, because because when someone asks you about like things that you do, you start grinning and then you start transmuting very positive energy to them, and then they're in. And then what what happens is like they start to receive that positive energy, and now they want now they're attracted to you because you're you're giving them you're you're giving goosebumps. Um, to them if the things that you talk about do, do not give you goosebumps when you're talking about it to, when you're explaining it to other people then it's not it's not your core desire these the things that the thing that you do has to give you goosebumps when you explain it to other people because when you become an expert when you're passionate about something you really like to do people feed off this passion off of you and now now suddenly they're they're inspired to do something to be passionate about and now suddenly you're inspiring other people and it's just a domino effect of inspiring people to do what they really want to do and you're, you'll be known as a world changer but only five percent of the population can really do this enticingly and do it uh intentionally so yep yeah, start Start brainstorming of things that you really want to do. Start brainstorming things that you're naturally good at and then double down on what works and then start being creative and expanding how you can, let's say, monetize it or make it bigger than what it is. So like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.